Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 9th of 2025 is titled Interstellar Interloper 3i Atlas from Hubble. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see an object which is an example of a comet known as 3i Atlas and it is named after its discoverer, which was the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, and that searches for various objects out there, in fact, looking for asteroids that we have not yet detected, and that could be potential hazards to Earth. Now, this is the third object that has been discovered of interstellar origin, meaning it is not a part of our solar system, but just happens to be passing through. And this is a comet, and studies of it, like this Hubble Space Telescope image, have been able to tell us that the nucleus at the center, which we cannot see because of all the material around it, is about five or six kilometers in size. So, we can get estimates, at least, of the size. We know it's about comparable to comets that we're used to seeing within our own solar system. So, how do we know that this one comes from outside of our solar system? Well, that involves studying its orbit and looking at its orbital parameters. And, in fact, this is the very fastest comet ever recorded, much higher speed and cannot possibly be bound to the sun. It also has a very hyperbolic orbit. Now, a hyperbolic orbit is an open orbit, an object that will never return. Normally, objects within our solar system have elliptical orbits. Now, there are some comets that do have hyperbolic orbits where their orbits have been changed by passing close to one of the planets. But they're usually just a very low hyperbolic orbit, in fact, just a little bit beyond being a bound orbit to the, the sun. So this one being highly hyperbolic will actually come in and will actually pass about as close to the sun as Mars before heading back out into interstellar space. So it is again the third time we've had been able to study this since 2017 where we've had an asteroid and now two comets that we found that have come from outside our solar system. So it's a chance to see these bits of material that have traveled for billions of years likely through interstellar space and just happened to come close enough to our own solar system to end up being influenced by the sun's gravity to the point where it affects them slightly, bringing them in, but they're moving way too fast and will just never remain bound and head back out into interstellar space. Now, it's also quite likely that there are objects like this traveling through space that left our own solar system. So, it's quite possible that they could be kicked out of our solar system, sent out into interstellar space, and then perhaps be traveling through another solar system at some point in the distant future. However, objects like this will spend the vast majority of their time in interstellar space because space is simply so empty and the spacing between the stars is so great. The speeds, even though this is the fastest recorded, are still only a tiny fraction of the speed of light, so it can t it could take tens of thousands of years for it to travel from one star to another, and in fact might not get there for millions of years, depending on the exact positioning and path that it happens to take through space. But they are interesting to study when they do come through, and as I said, this is the third such object that we've been able to see. Now, it is no threat to Earth. It is not coming anywhere near Earth. In fact, not any, even anywhere near Earth's orbit. The closest it's going to come is just inside the orbit of Mars before it starts heading back out into interstellar space. So that was our picture of the day for August 9th of 2025. It was titled Interstellar Interloper 3i from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Down the Road. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.